Now that we've got our first half of our flame detail, we're going to work backwards now. So instead of going down a level for each new piece, we're going to go up one. So we have our yarn ending right here, so we're going to aim for right here. So with an extra loop on your needle, you're going to pierce it right through there and pull your yarn through to where you got your three loops, just like a double crochet. Make sure you get it through all of that yarn, through the first two and through the second two. And you see now we're starting to retract and go back up the other way. And now we're going to go up one level from there, so wrap it around, stick it through, pull it, and we've got our three. Go through there and pull it right through there. And don't forget, because it's kind of easy when you get to the end to think that you're done, but you want to get this real, real tiny one right here, because you see we're adding so much up here to the top. You really don't want to forget to do that little piece to make sure it's complete. And for this, remember, you're just going to go directly underneath your loop. Just right there. Pull it through. And there we go. We have one completed flame detail and you can leave just one on there if you want and you can just keep going as far as you want. Now when you're traveling, you're just going to want to keep doing your double crochets right underneath your top loop to get around and you can spread out your flames as much as you want. But me, what I'm going to do is this is going to be the very beginning for my second one. And that's how I'm going to work it down. But like I said, you can spread them out as far as you want. I'm going to keep working to get as many flames as I can to get all the nice little jagged levels through. And when we work around, we'll see what it looks like and we'll tie it up to have a complete hair tie.